We now know the next space trailblazers as NASA announced today. The four astronauts will be heading towards the moon and first astronauts going towards the moon in more than 50 years. The Artemis 2 mission is now set to launch late next year. Western Space Coast Bureau Chief Scott Heidler joins us live from the Kennedy Space Center. And Scott, the excitement there is building for sure. It absolutely is. Now, while this big announcement was actually in Houston, where NASA's astronaut program is headquartered, Obviously, things are looking here because those four astronauts who were announced today to be part of that Artemis II mission, it'll blast off from here. Three words that we keep saying in this Artemis program. We are going, and I want everybody to say it on three. One, two, three. We are going. Each of the four Artemis II crew announced as they stood with all the astronaut contenders. First, NASA mission specialist Christina Koch then Canadian Mission Specialist Jeremy Hansen, and two Navy aviators will serve as Mission Commander Reed Wiseman and Mission Pilot Victor Glover. And it's so much more than the four names that have been announced. We need to celebrate this moment in human history because Artemis II is more than a mission to the moon and back. It's more than a mission that has to happen before we send people to the surface of the moon. It is the next step on the journey that gets humanity to Mars. Glover and Koch will be making history as the first black astronaut and the first female astronaut to be assigned to a lunar mission. The 10-day mission will not bring the astronauts to the surface of the moon. But like the nearly month-long uncrewed Artemis I test mission last year, it's part of a series of missions building up to the return of humans to the lunar surface in 2025 or 2026. It will be a four-day journey going a quarter of a million miles continuing to test out every bit of Orion, going around the far side of the moon, heading home, going through the Earth's atmosphere at over 25,000 miles per hour and splashing down in the Pacific. The crew will closely test the performance of the Orion spacecraft from leaving Earth's orbit to the trip to and around the moon. Yeah, well, this will be a shakedown crew. So we saw a, a tremendously successful automated mission with the uh, the first Artemis mission. But now we're going to fly people on board and we're going to make sure that everything works well uh, to support people. Each mission will build on the previous, ultimately leading to habitats on the moon and then to Mars. Preparations here at the Kennedy Space Center for Artemis II have already begun. And now that we know who those four astronauts will be on the mission on that 1.4 million mile round trip mission, excitement is building here. Reporting live at the Kennedy Space Center, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.